scores of friends and sympathizers joined family of late high life musician Kodobwachi Yadom, known in showbiz circles as Kofi B for the traditional first week remembrance. Coming up are excerpts of the ceremony. <laughs> Music enthusiasts, musicians, fans and friends of the late high-life musician Kofi Bwachi Yadom gathered at Achimota, the temple, in Accra for the traditional first week remembrance ceremony. Kofi B, who passed away on February 2, 2020, after battling illness over a year, is remembered for songs including Kofredia Flowers, Mobrowa and Bantama Kofi Bwachi. Musica president Bessa Simon said Kofi B will forever be remembered for its originality. Why? Kofi B stood for Ghanaian music, Ghanaian high life music. And uh, if you should listen to Kofi B's music, it's unique. It's something that only one person can do. And that is what we call high life music. The way Kofi B puts words together, only him can do it. So to me, we've lost a great musician. Wife of the late musician shares her last moment. He called exactly at 2.31, complaining of his heart pain. So I asked him if he had taken medicine. And he confessed, yes, he had taken the medicine. In about 14 minutes' time, I called him later. He said the pain was very severe, that he couldn't bear it. So I told him to contact Covidinti so he would take him to hospital. And from there, I didn't hear from him. That was the last talk. He only said, Mama, pray for me. And that I'm not feeling well. That was the last word I heard from him at 2.45. He's a lovely person. That's all I can say. I really love him. Kofi's mother could not hold back her tears. The final funeral rites for the legendary musician will take place on April 25 in Accra. He is survived by a wife and two children.